I did it. Um, guess you can see the shirt. Like it? I like it. I think it's pretty badass. But, uh, anyways, back for the new project today. Um, gonna be something that I haven't done before. And, uh, should be fun. I just hit that, uh, the video prior to this one was, um, just a little intro. You'll see a couple more pieces of that uh, throughout the video if you stick around. So, today we're gonna be using this Aluminite Clear. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. It's got about a seven-minute work time, which is, uh, sucks for me. Probably doesn't matter to you, but that's what we're working with. We're gonna put this, or excuse me, this, with this, Protec. Now, this is jig paint. If you guys don't know what I mean by jig paint, then that might give you a clue. Uh, jig paint is a uh, jigs for fishing jigs. But this is glow powder. Glow bright green, number 35. Protec. And, finally, some white fine glitter. It's pretty sweet looking. Very sparkly. Sparkly, sparkly. Crystal diamond, huh? Is that right? Made by Sullen. Now this is just a uh, <coughs> uh, department store you know, kind. That's what I got it. This is a department store. Got this from Protect. Got this uh, online as well. Got me a couple of brushes. And a couple more brushes. Some cheapos. Regular old cheapo brushes. And uh, we're going to start off by mixing just a little bit of this with this. And painting it on here. And uh, yeah. Pretty cool, huh? I think so. Look, it's already been 3 minutes and 20 seconds. We've got to get this on the roll. Everybody else's videos seem to, uh, I watched them and, you know, they, they sit there and babble on and talk and talk and talk and talk and I look down at the time frame and only one minute has went by. Am I really talking that slow? I don't feel like I am, but, you know, whatever. So, without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs>
well, I cannot tell you, that is not easy. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely not easy. Um, even harder when there's bugs flying around. And uh, the thing that makes it so hard isn't that it's hard, but rather that uh, it sets up in uh, seven minutes. So we're done pretty much here. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to put on. It's about perfect for me. And uh, it's time to move to the next step. Okay, so this is going to be our next step here. I know, it's just a two by four and a one by four and a two by four. And they're just old pieces scrap wood but I think it'll work out just great the length of our starfish at the biggest area is uh, eight inches across and we've got eight inches this way we don't really need but seven this one so we're gonna okay, let's just put it on there let's see like so and it looks like we'll just be cutting it really close we might need to get a bigger one on this side so we're gonna replace it you better perfect mm -hmm. all right so now we're just going to uh mark it out real quick Check it out. It's a sticker. <clears throat> cool, huh? Right, so I got stickers. Uh, if anybody wants one, I'll leave uh, my email address at the end of the video. And uh, if you want one, just send me an email of where to send it to, like your address, and I'll be happy to send it to you um, as soon as humanly possible. Maybe 
Basically what I've got here is this. I'll give you show you what I'm doing. Okay. This is a battery pack. And this battery pack. There's the hollowed hole that I hollowed out with chisels by hand and then sanded as best as I could around the inside. Thinking about putting a a plate over the bottom of this so that all this will be covered and it'll hold the battery pack in and it'll just screw down in three places now I'm gonna go over this real quick and then we gotta get to the next step okay battery pack goes through sits in here the line goes inside this little crease that I've cut out drill the hole through comes through here comes to the middle comes up the star inside the star and the lights will be inside the star okay so that being said, let's get this back in place. Probably not going to glue this in place because of the simple fact that it has to be able to be taken out to change the batteries. So, um, yeah. Best idea is not to uh, exclude the battery. So, there we go. Something like that. And it fits in there with no extrusion. And if I put a plate on the back, it'll be a very thin one. And I'll just leave a hole for the on off switch so you'll be able to take the screws off take this piece out it'll be bundled in here whatever excess and then I'll put some type of plug in so when the plate goes on that'll be fully covered also the plug will stop the acrylic from coming down into this hole and coming out of here as well or not the acrylic the epoxy excuse me so right now what I'm gonna do real quick just to keep this nice and tidy is get some in that better spot. So I'm going to take this down where it won't move around or fall out. 
and this is just temporary just to hold it in place. Looks like so. And that's that. So now, I don't have to worry about this going anywhere while I work on the rest. Next step is going to be these right here. They're sponges. Natural sponge set. Um, I think they look pretty cool. I'm going to um, paint the tops of them or maybe the top half of each one and place them around it. Hopefully they'll look like a coral reef when I'm done. I'm going to paint it with this uh, apricot on one, some wicker white on another, and yellow. And uh, this is all acrylic paint, so it should mesh well with the epoxy. And I'll be using these. So, I'll be right back. Alright, that was fast. I'm back already. That's crazy. Alright, so... These are natural sponges. <clears throat> I'm going to cut these out of here and get them on here. And once I start painting, I'm going to speed up the video to the next bit. I went ahead and made this form cast for the box or for the uh, epoxy. So what I did with this, I'll give it, just go over it real quick. You can see right there and right there and so on and so on all the way around. I just dropped a little dot of Gorilla Super Glue. I bought some of these right here, Scotch Display Pocket. It's just clear material. It's like a pocket, kind of like a folder. And uh pretty tough, I mean, glossy, and I used Zacto knife to cut it, used the super glue to put it on, <clears throat> I just sat it on its bottom, and pushed it up to it, held it there for a sec, then I taped the corners with some, uh, regular old, uh, clear tape, and now I'm about to hit it with the hot glue around the bottom edges around here, <clears throat> and I'm not really worried about what the bottom is going to look, or the top anymore because the top's going to be covered with something and the bottom is going to have a base plate and I glue them. So let's get to it. This is where we're at right now. We have the sponges painted and in place. These are glued down with some super glue where they're at, where they're currently located. And right now, I'm about to break out this stone grains. But it looks like sand. I don't know if you can really see the color very well. But uh, yeah, it's the same color as sand. It's basically sand. So, To get this going. Oh, wow. The bag's already open like that. That's funky. Okay. Get that out. Okay. Okay. So I got a spoon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the star up while I put the sand in. Or I might just 
Tugas kan? Apa tu? Ada apa? Tidak ada. Ada. Ada work. Dan sekali lagi, sebelum saya ini, selalu. Now, I don't want necessarily a lot. I just want to make sure that I'm not getting it in the areas inside the, the sponge and I want the coral reef in <coughs> you know filled up with it so I'm trying to speed it up here with that okay mm -hmm. And I got a little bit of a, a little bit of a hot glue. First, I put a little bit of clear tape, and then I put some hot glue on top of the clear tape, and that's on the hole that's on the inside. I think maybe it might be a good idea to try to do it this way. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Get some of it in right here, and then push it over. I'm gonna be a better, better idea. And there's one more thing that we gotta do before we pour the epoxy in and that'll be the next thing that I do here not shortly and it shouldn't take too long I don't know how long but maybe a couple of minutes pretty simple and you'll see what it is here in a minute I'm just gonna keep spooning this in right here at this side and then pushing it over. That way, we keep all of the, the sand from getting all over those sponges. Get on over there. Yep. I see you, little spongy sponge. Get that in there. It may be a little hard for you to see, but listen, you'll be all right. All right, so we got most of it like that. So what I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna go ahead and move this back away so that we can just spoon the rest in. Yeah, that right there. Okay. And we just gotta fill up this little area right here on the side. I don't necessarily want it clumped up on the sponge. But look right here. I'm about to show you. I'm about to fill this in. There we go. And you get that sand out of there. There we go. I think that's working out pretty good. Get some of it underneath that, that one. And then we just, uh, maybe try to smooth this out a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. That went easier than I thought it would. Let's just hope we can keep it that way while we're uh, getting everything else done. Oh, man, we are running out of time right now. Okay. I'm gonna lift this edge up. A little bit under there. Get under there, you know what I'm saying? There we go. I think we could use just a touch more. Under there. There we go. I think maybe that's a little better. Okay. Alright, let's see. Where is our top?
Oh boy. Alright, so. That is the top. And that is about where it's gonna go. Roughly. Right there. Maybe a tad bit more this way. Alright, so. Check that out. Sand's in there. Looks pretty good around the sides and the back side of the sponge. Pretty good there. This colors really, really work on those sponges. I mean, I kind of mix them up a little bit on this one and this one. But uh, in this one, I just put a touch of white on on the orange, and then I put a little bit of yellow mixed with white on that orange one. Uh, and, well, some orange, whatever. I don't know. Anyways, it came out pretty good. I've got to uh, go get this next piece, and then we'll be ready for the box. See these? They're made for, I guess, uh, making a necklace or something. DIY accents. Yeah. But uh, they're glass, I believe. Anyways, I've already uh, took one. There's the uh, bottle for it. And here is the lid. The, or the cork, I should say. Now, you see, it looks a little glossy on top. That's because I put some super glue on there. I was gonna use epoxy, but, uh, you know, there's the little hook that's on there, okay? It goes in the top where that black hole is. This is what's on the top. So, I tried to unscrew it. Apparently, they have epoxy glued it in there, and it would not come out. So, what I did was, I just took, uh, <clears throat> just took the, uh, the cork piece, and I held up that, uh, little loop to the, uh, <clears throat> to the, uh, belt sander. Sand it off. Pretty much the whole loop, obviously, you can see. And then, once that came off, then this top piece came off. This little, uh, little, whatever it's called. I don't know. It's a little round piece. Yeah, on, there it is. A little round piece with the dots over there. Or whatever on it. Anyways, that fell off. And then I just took the, uh, needle nose pliers and unscrewed this little, little shit miniature screw that was in there. And, uh, hook screw. And it came right out, and it left that. But what I'm thinking is, is okay, here's the plan. I'm going to put a little teeny piece of paper in here, roll it up. And I'm going to put the cork in. But I know that air will be trying to escape from the epoxy. So I'm going to seal the cork <clears throat> to where, once it's in here, you won't be able to get it out, and all the air that's in there will be trapped inside. That'll go laying against the starfish in the front <coughs> with the little piece of paper in it. And uh, then we can pour the epoxy. Basically, all I have to do now is go and cut the piece of paper. I'm kind of trying to make it look a little rough and crazy, uh, you know, it's a little teeny piece of paper. If I can find some brown twine, I'm going to, you know, maybe wrap around uh, the paper in the middle and then pop it in the hole and then throw that cork in there. That's right. It's that time. All right. So far, so good. So, got our Lumalite. Uh -huh. side, side. We'll start off with a very small amount in this little tub. And, uh, the <clears throat> reason for that is, is I want to get a base down. And, oh yeah, you get the little bottle. Wait a minute, there it goes. I couldn't find any twine, so I found a brown rubber band and tied it around and the piece of paper and kind of burned it a little bit just to give it a little crusty look. I know you can see the white around the edges of this uh, glass right here, but that's no matter because you won't see that. Uh, there's uh, super glue all over the lid, the uh, cork, and that is going to just go right there, like so, and Maybe, uh, 20, 
21.6. No, so I need a number here. 23.5. <coughs> so that'll be 40, 40, 40, 46, 47 even. So everybody says don't use water-based stuff. But this right here is blue food coloring dye in egg dye. See this? That's what I'm going to use in it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, I guess that's what happens when you don't have a brush pot. Uh, <laughs> it's going off right now. I should have probably not poured the rest, the second bit in. Hmm. Well, I mean, you know, I've never done it before, so it's not like I'm some kind of pro. But... I am going to try to salvage it. I don't know if that's even possible. From the looks of it, <clears throat> it's probably not. <clears throat> the dirt is blowing up right now with the epoxy. And, or the sand. <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> Damn it, man. Alright, well. I mean, I guess we learned a valuable lesson here. And that is... Don't pour in so much epoxy at one time that sets up in seven minutes without a pressure pot. And even then, maybe you shouldn't. But, um, it's a good lesson learned, I guess. I mean, not really what I was aiming for. Didn't need to really learn a lesson. Check this out. The, uh, the bottom, the resin, is, uh, coming out. There. There. Some over there. Look at that. Look at that dirt. Or that sand, excuse me. Just blowing up. Bottles in there, bl covered buried it's done now this is junk that really sucks i thought that was gonna come out great i should have just went a little slower took my time on it i'm gonna let it get hard strip it and then uh see what it looks like then 